still November, still feeling more like January, especially as we go across portions of the middle of the country and then back into the east, much of the interior northeast and also into the Ohio Valley Great Lakes, well below normal continuing as we go into the next week to 10 days. Some periods of very warm weather, some periods of closer to average across much of the west, unfortunately not helping out the wildfires in California. It's not gonna be very moist at all across that area either. We'll see this system swing out of the interior northeast, lake effect snow sets up behind it. Watch the Lake Ontario streamers for some of the more impressive accumulations as we go into the middle portions of the week. Everything else across the Western Great Lakes is gonna be much more spotty in nature. We'll see this rain system come up. That might be a big deal too across portions of the deep south and in towards the southeast. Some possible flooding as the, really a few systems have moved across that area and will continue to do so. This one will move off towards the northeast. Notice some of the pink color. That's freezing rain. That's some sleet and snow. Then a big snowmaker potential for late week as we go into the interior northeast up into Quebec and Ontario. Dries out across the east. We'll see a couple systems possible. One in the northern plains, one dropping into the Rockies in the front range that'll bring some snow. Lots of cold weather across the maps here. Not too much in the way a lake effect as it looks right now. Overall, not a very active pattern going in towards the weekend into next week. Maybe a clipper system stretching across the lakes. We'll have to watch for anything to really develop and strengthen, but again, not looking at anything terribly interesting for big snowmakers the weekend into next week. Let's go beyond that. Let's talk about some warmer air. There's gonna be periods of cold. There's gonna be periods of warm throughout the end of November into December, but I think some of the warmer colors are gonna be coming in and swinging into the east at times but there could be more in the way of storms as well. You can see these big dips in the jet stream allowing for troughs of low pressure to spin up. That could produce some decent weather as far as snow lovers are concerned anyway. A very ambient pattern, not very progressive and quick moving. These storms will dig a little bit possibly, but again, we're several weeks away to get into that. I'm just trying to showcase that even if there's gonna be some warmer weather, also watch for stormy periods going through the end of November and December. So guess what that means? You need accurate weather information to keep you abreast of all of these different weather changes. Way better than smartphone apps or TV forecasts. You can trust NeoWeather to provide you with that detailed content.